Good morning, Shawnee Mission Northwest. I'm Garrett Getz. And I'm Sarah Milks. Today is March 13th. Welcome back to this week's episode of Cougar, Cougar Roundup. Roundup. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm using my jazz hands, duh. Oh, like the jazz band. Speaking of the jazz band, let's go to Taven and Bridget to get a recap of the jazz band showcase. This Tuesday, Northwest shows the annual jazz showcase. Trail Ridge Middle School, Shawnee Mission North, Shawnee Mission West, and our own amazing jazz group played at this concert. Each jazz band took turns around the cafeteria and played beautiful tunes. Thanks for hosting, Northwest. The girls' basketball team lost a close one Wednesday night in Wichita with the final score of 44-39. Let's see how their trip to state went. On Wednesday, March 11th, the Northwest Lady Cougars traveled to Wichita to play state against Derby. After a double overtime, the girls lost 39 to 44 in the sixth quarter. Get them next year, girls. Can you imagine breaking a school record as a freshman? Let's see how Olivia Pixton is jumping into the upcoming triple jump season. My main event in track is the triple jump. I first started doing track last year. My job on the track and field team is I am in charge of the jumpers, which includes the high jump, long jump, and triple jump. And then I also work with some of our short uh, sprinters. My uh, personal record right now is 38 feet, eight and a half inches. Uh, yeah, she <laughs> actually she broke the school record multiple times, probably about every time she competed. It was, oh my gosh, it was so amazing. And I think for me, like, the best part about it was it was such like, it was such a confidence boost. And it was just kind of like, oh, you really can do like whatever you want to. Typical practice days, um, we kind of alternate between days. Um, one day is more of a technique day where we're working on form, forms in our jumping, um, plyometrics, those kind of things. And then another day is a workout day where we're working on our short explosiveness, our sprint speed, those kind of things. The first person I think of when I think of someone who like helped me along the way was definitely Chandler Taylor. He was the best boys jumper and so whenever like we would go to whenever we went to KU relays, he was the only one that was allowed on the field with me. So he was the one warming up with me. He was telling me how to do things. He was definitely like my mentor in that respect. This season I think I'm most looking forward to uh, seeing how much better I can get than I was last year, especially since I was just a freshman and so I didn't really know like what was going on. Olivia and what makes her kind of special and stand out, um, her, well, she, she has everything that a coach would absolutely um, looks for in an athlete. She has a work ethic and will do anything and everything that we ask of her. Um, and she's very smart. She's starting to study the events a little bit and, and can recognize the things that she needs to change. Um, but right now she just has, she just has all the gifts that um, an athlete of her caliber and to be able to continue on has. I wish I could be the next Monet. Why? So I could draw like Jonah, duh. Let's take a closer look on Jonah Verbenik's art. I've been doing art since I was little. I don't know what made me get into art. I've just always been interested in it and I've always enjoyed it and I think it's a good time. For me, art is more just about chilling and getting in my zone. When I usually, sometimes I just draw random things 
And other times, if I like the way something looks, I'll draw that. Like, I like to draw animals and stuff. And also people are really fun to draw because, I don't know, they're just different. Uh, some of my favorite artwork that I've done has been in digital design because like you can do a lot more with it. You can make cartoony stuff and you can put it online and lots of people can see it. The girls' soccer team has been working hard every day in preparation for the upcoming season. Now let's hear from senior captain Sophia Pope. We're preparing for the season by we're doing a lot of fitness and sprinting and we've been scrimmaging the JV a lot and working on our set pieces and one touch passes and stuff like that but mostly we've been scrimmaging and practicing our formation and shape so we could decide what that's going to be before the season starts. I feel like my freshman year was more relaxed and I didn't really know what I was coming into but we've been conditioning for three three, four months now to prepare for this season because I feel like a lot of us seniors are really excited and we think we could do really good things with this team and we're all really close. I would really like to make it to sub-state at least. I think it would be really cool, especially for my senior year. I also am really excited because we have a young team this year. We have five freshmen, so I'm excited for that because I think it's cool that the girls basketball team made it to state with their young team. Most of their teammates are sophomores, I think, so I think we could do good, uh, good things because we have a lot of different ages and a lot of different types of girls. Thanks for watching. I'm Garrett Getz. And I'm Sarah Milks. Have a happy spring break, Northwest. Tune in for more on the next episode of Cougar, Cougar Roundup. Roundup.